What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm gonna be playing this super sick Stellar Terra Terra Blast Enamorous. Enamorous is contrary, will let it get an attack and defense boost from superpower. And if you go for Stellar Terra Blast, it'll let it get an attack and special attack boost from the Terra Blast. It also gets an attack boost when they try to intimidate it. And when this Whimsicott goes for a side charm or a side fake tears, it can get a double attack boost or special defense boost. It's crazy, it's so fun. The rest of this team is just to support this because it is so fun to do. Ting Lu, very defensive set, go for snarls. Ogre Pond, redirection, incineroar, intimidate and fake out. It also has protect instead of the usual parting shot, so that can get people off guard once in a while. And then just a Raging Bolt, because it's a Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt is great. This is so fun to use, especially when you can pull off a Terra Blast into a predicted Terra, because Stellar Terra Blast is super effective into anything terrestrialized, and it is so fun. Anyway, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and without further ado, let's do it! Okay, we've got, ooh, an Iron Hands, and a Bax? Dragonite, Entei, Ogre Pond Water, and Inertia Boo of some kind. That's cool. I really feel like Chen Pao would fit over that back slot. They've got so much physical, oh my goodness. But I can only intimidate like a couple of them. Wow. Well, that's uh, great for superpowering. I would love to superpower stuff. Ah, I'm a little worried about extreme speed going before I get any defense boosts. Uh, but charm also works. Of course, it works after the extreme speed, but we can always protect for that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring all my attack dropping. I'm gonna bring an amorous because it's an amorous. And then, do I want redirect? Do I want thunderclappy boy? Iron hands is scary. Oh, iron hands is scary no matter who I bring last. Yikes! That's got a match up here. Guess Ting Lu ain't the worst overall. Thunderclapper does not help with Iron Hands. Ogre Pond does not help with Iron Hands. Ting Lu does not help with Iron Hands. None of these help with Iron Hands. I'm gonna go Ogre Pond this time. This Ting Lu set has been kinda letting me down. It's very defensive. It doesn't do much damage. And sometimes I just need a little bit more damage. And sometimes you need to tell them to get a trainer card. Alright, what's your lead? Max Caliber Urshifu. I'm terrified. But it's Dark Urshifu, which is so good for me. Ooh. They're just gonna tear up their backs. They're gonna Terra their backs. Charm, Terra Blast, let's go. Do it. You're gonna Terra that. You're scared. You're gonna do it. Show me the Terra. Okay, Urshifu swaps, that's fine. You had nothing you could do there anyway. Into Dragonite, okay. That's a scary thing for later. My Terra goes first. Plus two Terra Blast will probably not knock out Vax if it doesn't Terra. So Namor, it doesn't have a lot of attack investment, so... Yes! Yes! They're doing it! Yes! You don't even know what you just did! Fairy, fine! Fine! That's great! You thought I was gonna superpower? You thought I was gonna play rough? No. Uh-uh. I'm gonna charm and I'm gonna blow you away. Watch out. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> All right, that's great. I'm gonna count this as a win. I don't care if they make a comeback. This game is a win. <laughs> Just cause I got to do that. That is so fun. All right, I'm also a plus three attack now, so I'm scary. 
I'm a very scary and amorous here. They're definitely gonna double into me. I'm just gonna protect it and do whatever. Ogre Pond? Fine. Charm you, protect you, easy play. <laughs> oh wow, I love it. They let me get the charm, they're not going for extreme speed. They wouldn't be going for outrage. Yep, the Ivy Cudgel targets that slot, makes sense. And an Ice Spinner, fine. Fine, don't care. I will now charm your Ogre Pond, and I will play rough your Dragonite. Do something about it. I mean, you could crit an Ivy Cudgel. That would be something to do about it. But I'm faster anyway. Dragonite should be gone. Yup. Bye bye. <laughs> and Ogre Pond is now locked in. It can always crit. It can always crit. This minus two attack can just disappear any second. But not this second. <laughs> Love it. And they're gone. <laughs> oh, good game. Good game, Enamorous. That is how you do it. Okay, this is a. Uh, Chiyu, Fluttermane, Glamora, Tornadus, Urshifu, and Waterpond. That's a very, very scary team. Very scary. Uh, I do think Enamorous Whimsicott is still the play, but I'm terrified. They lead like Urshifu. I mean, a lot of those a booster energy bolt likes to see. Tornadus and Urshifu, it scares them. Lead Whimsicott and Amorous so I can get a huge special defense boost right away could be great if they lead Chiyu Flutter. Um, if they lead with Glamora, <laughs> I might be in trouble anyway. Uh, so I guess I need Ting Lu to handle that. I don't have a ground move, which is bad. But they don't know that. Uh, but maybe it's just Ogre Pond then, because it can actually hit Glamora. It also helps out to get the Ur against Urshifu. It's okay into Fluttermane and Chiyu. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I could maybe even save Terra for it. Maybe. Maybe the Ogre Pond could get the Terra this time. I like that. That works. And that's a cool card. I guess. A Mimikyu and a Roaring Moose. And you got them glasses on. Alright, it's Glim Torn. Yeah, yeah, that's terrible. What am I gonna do about it? What am I gonna do about it? Actually, I don't know. I think I superpower Glamora and match Tailwind. No. Can't get the poisons back there. Oh gosh. Uh, protect and amorous. Get the copy their tailman. That's gonna be my play. I'm terrified though. Okay, they do just tailwind. That's at least a good start. Uh, show me a wasted attack into enamorous, please. All right, it is meteor beam. Show me Enamorous targeting. I think you wouldn't do that if you were going after Whimsicott. I think you would just Sludge Bomb at Whimsicott. Yes! Yes! That's great. Now is there any way for me to Oko Glamora? And is it even worth trying? Probably not. Maybe I go for it anyway. 100, 120. Just, just Terra, superpower, plus two. See where that gets me. Just sending it. I'm just sending it straight at this Glamora. If I can secure this knockout, 
that would be so huge. It would be enormous. Enam enam enormous. Enamor enormous. Enormous? If I could secure this knockout, it would be enormous. And just popping Stellar Terra because it's fun. Alright. Plus two. Superpower. With a Terra Boost. Let's see it KO. Come on. No! Oh, so close! Oh no! Come on, they just bleak wind storm. Whimsicott lives that. They're deaf. Oh, and I get the speed boost, thanks. Oh, they double in Amorous. Oh, that's so sad. Well, I'm in big trouble now. I think it's Bolt first. Because Ogre Pond is a little afraid of Tornadus. Alrighty. Pretty easy to just Moonblast the Glamora and... Do I want to Thunderclat when I could just Thunderbolt? I think Thunderbolt is fine. And then Moonblast to finish off this Glamora. Which should have gone down! Ah, It's just not strong enough. And Bolt being regular poisoned isn't the worst. Bad poison would have been a problem. But this match is going so fast anyway, I don't know if poison's gonna be a significant factor. Alright, they're thinking. That's good. I like them being a little scared. And they do swap Tornadus. Okay, I figured they wouldn't attack. I, I was calling them not attacking. into Fluttermane. With, uh, the boost doesn't matter. You should be fastest on the field. It's speed. Yeah, whatever. And they outspeed my Whimsicott. That's great. That's a slow Whimsicott, huh? Yikes. <laughs> Alrighty. Flutter with a speed boost. And a weirdly fast Glamora. Let's look at this Tailwind situation. One turn, one turn. Whimsicott was only 136 speed. Ooh. Could be faster than my Ogre Pond, too. Well, Thundercla Thunderclap into Fluttermane seems like the play. And I'm gonna launch an Ivy Cudgel into Glamora, I believe. I believe this play works. I believe in these mons here. Now Glamora max speed is what? One Okay, you swapped. That's great. That's what I wanted to see. Into Tornadus. That's fine by me. Uh, it's just a Flutter Protect. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Don't care. Give me half. That's half. I like to see that. Tailwind is gone on both ends. I would be crazy to Thunderclap Tornadus in this position. And they would be crazy to Bleak Windstorm in this position, so I'm happy to just throw a cudgel at it and Thunderclap the Fluttermane. Yes! That's exactly what I wanted to see. Clap. Bye! Goodbye, Flutter. And goodbye, Torn. I wish Enamorous could have done more. Oh, and there we get a crit there. We should have saved that for when we really need it. Oh, 
Okay, now they are definitely faster with Glamora. It really depends who their last is, whether we can even win this. They have, they have plenty of turns they can protect on a Thunderclap. They are faster than Ogre Pond and can knock it out in one hit, most likely, from where we are now. And they have their own Ogre Pond. Hmm. They should just use Follow Me. Then I can't Thunderclap. But I can Thunderbolt, and I can Spiky Shield. They Spiky Shield. Is it just a double protect to stall the... Yeah, it is just a double protect. Just to stall out some poison and bait out my Spiky Shield so that you can get the KO next turn. Now you go for the follow me sludge bomb, would be my guess. So I go for the double spiky shield. Your play is so easy that I, I have to get this double spiky shield here. Th their Glamora went for a spiky shield. Ooh, I get mine though. Okay. And they Horn Leech into the Spiky Shield. Oh! Wow! That is so good. Yes! Goodbye, Glamora. Now their Ogre Pond does get a free Spiky Shield turn here. And these poisons are racking up really good. They're really stalling this out. Last turn of their Tailwind, though. I imagine they'd be faster than this Bolt. But they might not be faster than my Ogre Pond. So it's definitely a Thunderbolt. And a Follow Me because I don't want to touch their shield. Yeah, I, I was so sure they were shielding. I don't want to take Chip. And I wasn't going to risk Ivy Cudgel into them, because that would just heal them if they didn't. Now that the Tailwind is over, we'll see who's faster. Hopefully it's just, we're faster, GG. Uh, but if they're faster, Horn Leech gets the KO here, maybe? Ooh. Oh, they don't get the KO and they go after Bolt. Oh, that's so good. We get to hit with Bolt, and we get to heal on our Ogre Pond. Ooh, I don't know if that's range, but it's really good. Come on, go down. Yes! Yes, we got it! Ugh! Let's go! Oh, yes! Woo! GG, David. You, you made me fight for that. Woo! Okay, Ogre Pond, Raging Bolt, Urshifu, Fluttermane, Chiyu, and Farigarat. Should I force Enamorous? Would that be a water Urshifu? That might be a dark Urshifu, now that I'm thinking about it. That's a dark Urshifu. I really like Enamorous. They do Chiyu Fluttermane. I like getting a special defense boost right away. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I kind of like Tinglu. And the thing I would be most worried about after all this is probably their Ogre Pond. Yeah, and so I could bring my own Ogre Pond, redirect some moves away. That could be good. Especially, and it could be good against Thunderclaps too, but it can't really hit it. I could also bring my own Bolt. 
I kind of like my own bolt against their ogre pod. I think I'm gonna go with that. Uh, should I have brought Ogre Pawn here? Maybe. Maybe. I'm just a little worried about not being able to touch their bolt, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring. And they have a card. Good. I kinda want... I kinda wish I had Ogre Pawn so I could redirect Thunderclass. It is Dark Urshifu. That's great to see. That is so good to see. I love seeing that. I want to superpower their ogre pond and charm it to plus and charm to plus two right away. That's what I want to do. I want to see if I can blow up ogre pond. Might as well stellar Terra here. No. Superpower ogre pond. Self charm. Just start racking up these attack boosts. Okay, they're going for a Terra right away. It's probably their... Oh, it's their Ogre Pond. Well, I'm a little worried about an Ivy Cudgel now. I'm not gonna lie. We still don't know the speed tiers. But I don't think a plus two superpower will knock it out. Okay, that looks like Scarf Urshifu. Good to know. Great to know, especially because you have U-turn. You probably can't touch an Amorous. But you're gonna bop it right here, right now. Aren't you? So I'm a little worried about that. Okay, we go first. We get the defense boost. That's awesome. That's so good. And then it is an Ivy Cudgel. This is really gonna hurt. But we eat it. Thank you, defense boost. Now. <laughs> Stellar Terra Blast into Ogre Pond. And aside fake tears to live any special hits. That's what I think. That's what I'm going to go with, because Terra Blast won't make contact if it spiky shields. We've already confirmed we're faster, so we'll knock it out if it doesn't. And we'll get a special defense boost to handle that Rigorath attacking. I guess I would be a little worried about Trick Room, but then I can always protect and swap into uh, my Tinglu. They did decide to block my Terra Blast, fine. And set up their own trick room. Okay, that's fine. You know what, this is fine. I will just go ahead and protect. I could also bring in Bolt. That threatens even more. Do I like that better? Yeah, I think I like Bolt even better there, the swap. Now I'm really threatening that Ogre Pond. Which, <laughs> it is very unlikely it's slower than this. Unless you're doing Brave. I think it has a fixed speed IV anyway. Just a Hyper Voice. Pretty sure an Amorous can take that at plus two. Now, if you get a special attack boost from your Throat Spray, I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe I should have brought in Ting Lu. Maybe I still can. I don't think there's much point, though. Do you protect your Ogre Pond here? Yes, you do. You very much do. You've got to. 
right? You've got to. So I'm gonna double for Rigorat. And they just follow me. That's fine. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why. Oh, we don't take it. Oh, no. No, Enamorous. Okay. Good job. I guess it should have been Ting Lu then. Maybe we would have been able to take it with Ting Lu on the field. But their Ogre Pond is down. Which is a big problem for Ting Lu eliminated. And I will go into Ting Lu now. Oh yes, Fluttermane, love to see it. The Furugraph is honestly doing way too much damage. Let's snarl that down real quick. And what's your boost? Are you gonna speed boost inside Trick Room? That's so funny. That must just be an imp imprisoned giraffe. And we are 65. So if they're min speed, they could go first. I want to snarl and protect. I want to see these speed tiers. Okay, they protect. They're trying to get out of their own trick room now. As long as I connect this Snarl, I'm not too worried. That's great. Just a Dazzling Gleam at minus one with Vessel of Ruin. Yeah, that did not do any damage. Okay, last Trick Room turn. Snarl and... I'm thinking Thunderbolt into Ferrigarath. I would like Ferrigarath to go down. Yeah, and Fluttermane protected anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. You would do that. And I get to go before Ferrigarath. That's huge. That's huge. That means Bolt. Wait. No, we missed the Ferrigarath anyway. Okay. Okay, bye, Bolt. Never mind. I thought you might have a chance to live. Never mind. Never mind. I was just playing. Oh, boy. And what do I got on this thing? None of that's going to do anything except Moonblast. Alright. You're probably going to want to take out my Whimsicott as soon as possible. I'm going to Heavy Slam and delete your Fluttermate. And a moon blast just to chip your furry rat. Just eat that pretty cut. Oh no, was that a crit on Ting Lu? Oh, of course it was. Of course it was. We get the special attack drop now. It's a little bit late though. And with their Choice Scarf Urshifu, they will outspeed. Oh, there's no way around this, is there? I think they got this one. Alright. I will Body Press Urshifu. I will Moon Blast Urshifu. Urshifu will get one knockout. Yep. And Farigaraf will take it home. Good game opponent. Ah, uh, good game. Missing that snarl was big, but I don't know if it would have changed the whole game. I should have gone into Ting Lu immediately and started snarling. Bringing in Bolt was the problem. Oh, then I would have gotten hit. Hmm, I don't know. All right, Enamorous versus. Oh, such a cool team. Nine Tails, Articuno. 
Empoleon, Venusaur, Tornadus, and Garchomp? That's too cool. And also too bad for an Amorous, because it's weak to ice and can't change that. But, 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 what way do we have to stop the weather? Not really any. What way do we have? I mean, they have a lot of special attackers. So just getting a special defense boost on an Amorous right away could be big. I'm wondering if I want to just go with that. That would also potentially scare them into thinking I have a weather move when I don't. Well, if I need an ice resist, I guess it's Incineroar? And having Flare Blitz is nice, it hits most of those things. Uh, a little worried about the Empoleon if I swap in. Uh, but other than that, I guess... Let's see, Wellspring Ogre Pond does not do well into Venusaur. Neither does anything except Bolt, really? And Bolt isn't the best here. Uh, so many special attackers, I'm thinking just bring Ting Lu, just in case. And that's what I want to do. That's what I'm locking in. Uh, double Blizzards is terrifying. I can get to plus two special defense immediately, though. Ah, oh, no trainer card. Boo. Will plus two special defense be enough, though? I don't know. And, okay, they don't go for it. That's great. That's great to see. Still want to boost up my special defense. That Venusaur looks really big. Really, really big. I think just a superpower into the Empoleon and boost up my own special defense right away. I think that's what I want to do. Just get super tanky. Okay, they're going for a Terra right away. And it's their Empoleon. And it's into Fairy. Okay. Superpower is not gonna knock that out. I don't think it was gonna Oko anyway. I'm more doing it for the boost. I could also throw Terra Blast at you next turn. Alright, that's now plus one attack, plus one defense, plus two special defense. Now let's see, did you double into an Amorous? Because that still might be enough. Oh, it's our Pledge team. Grass Pledge and Water Pledge. And I resist that, because it's the Grass What pledge. are you doing right, they got my swamp, swamp. So They got speed control for days. How long does Swamp last? Okay, three more turns. That's not too bad, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and delete Empoleon. And get my special defense even higher. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Because at that point, I'll have plus two attack after this hit. And I think that'll be enough. Also, I really, really want to just Stellar Terra Blast every Terra the opponent can have all day today. I just think that's such a cool thing to do. That's what it's for. Yep, another special defense boost. Okay, Whimsicott, thank you for your service. Tailwind wasn't going to help because Swamp does more. And a Blizzard? Wow! Okay, at least we didn't get froze or nothing. That's crazy. I guess having Nine Tails on the team, that makes sense for you to do. Bam. Goodbye. Now, I think my best option now would be Incineroar. I can fake out to stall another turn of this swamp. That's what I'll do. I think I want to send it on to Venusaur, probably. Oh, they've got Articuno there. All right. I have the special defense to take a hit from Articuno, I would think. Venusaur would be a problem, though. So I think I'm going to now throw... What's my attack? Plus two? Do I think plus two play rough knocks out Articuno? Definitely not if they swap into Ninetales. Maybe I just hit it with a superpower and just fake out the Venusaur. Venusaur just protects. That's okay. Stall out your own swamp. Don't care. 
and just a double protect. All right, stall out your swamp. I, I really don't care. That's great. I love that. And you're both weak to fire? I can just throw a flare blitz now. Wish I could have gotten a boost somehow from this, but not how it works. All right, last turn of Swamp. You are definitely getting a Protect in Amorous. And then... I still think Venusaur is more threatening, so I want to Flare Blitz that slot. Okay, no swaps coming out. Maybe they don't have Ninetales in the back. Maybe they have something else. Good, it was just a Sludge Bomb into Enamorous. Expected. And a hit. Ah! <laughs> oh, I don't like to see that. There goes all my hard work. Wow, okay. That's... That's the way that is. But the swamp, at least, is gone. Yikes. Okay. Well, superpower into Venusaur. And would I rather knock off or just straight up Flare Blitz? I think I want to straight up Flare Blitz the Articuno now. Yeah, Venusaur just protects. I don't think he would double protect here. I wasn't going to do much damage to Articuno if I had targeted it with Enamorous. I have no boosts. And yeah, they just take this opportunity to freeze dry. Alright. Enamorous, you did great. You did, you did good, I think. But Haze... Ugh. Oh. Articuno's a pretty good mod, honestly. Well, was. <laughs> is this, does this thing have attack investment? Dang. Okay. Give me my berry. Snack time. Now, you have 1 HP, and it's down to a 2v2. Sure, you may have a slight tight matchup against Ting Lu, but I really don't want to know what your last is. And it was Garchomp this whole time. Well, I've got max defense on this Ting Lu. So that's good. Incineroar. Well, no, oh, that's a lot of attack investment. Okay, so an earthquake's gonna be a problem. I just want to body press Venusaur and protect Incineroar for now. They won't see that coming. They'll probably try to throw a ground move at it. Yep, okay, that's good. And then I'm guessing it's probably just uh, the grass move. Oh, doubling into Ensign! I like to see that. Let's go. Okay. Now, Protect does not double the power of Stomping Tantrum. So he's only got a normal Stomping Tantrum against me, and he wasn't confident that it would knock out. But I don't think I was very defensively invested. Max HP, basically no defense. Yeah, no, that's not going to do it. Stomping Tantrum might get the KO. Uh, I think my biggest damage output right now is Ruination. And I'll just go for a knockoff as well. Okay, oh, he can throw Earthquakes freely now. That's scary. That did less than 50 damage, but it'll get a boost next time for being single target. Unfortunately, my attacks make contact. would be more heavy slam or body press my defense is a lot higher than my attack it's got to be body press right yeah I'm gonna throw body press he's gonna throw earthquake I can take two earthquakes yeah even with rough skin damage and then they updated the game so if I lose on rough skin damage I actually win that used to be different. Oh, going for the flinch to get me into range. Good call, good call. I respect that. Didn't work out, though. It used to be if you died to rough skin, you lost. But I'm pretty sure in Gen 8 they updated it to be a win. But it never came to that anyway. Good game, Garchomp. Good game. 
Go get a trainer card. Go, like, put nine tails in it or something. Okay, Rillaboom. Ooh, Sceptile. Heatran, Chen Pao, Urshifu, Fluttermane. That's a cool team. They are up to some things. They are up to some many things. Chen Pao and Heatran are very scary for Enamorous. Cannot handle those. So, what beats Chen Pao and Heatran? Uh... Terra Poison Tinglu? Body presses are nice. Yeah, and I'm gonna want to Terra Poison it. It's pretty good into, into everything they've got. Except I guess they're Water Shifu. Bolt isn't bad, Incineroar isn't bad. Gonna bring one of those. Gonna have an Amorous in the back this time. That is an option. Just gonna target down the things that scare me. Which I guess would be an Ogre Pond lead with Incineroar and an Amorous last. Do I want Tailwind and to get all my side boosts? I don't know. Whimsicott seems kind of useless here. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. I'm a little bit scared of what that Sceptile's got cooking. I'm a little worried about that. It could be like Grassy Seed on Burden. It could be... All oh, the Polywhirls! <laughs> uh, it could be some Shed Tail shenanigans. Well, both grass types are out. I'm thinking it's Grassy Seed. If I had to guess, I would think it's Grassy Seed. Immediately boosting, yep. That is a Grassy Seed defense boosted septile. Well, I'm going to burn Terra right away, because I don't want to get hit by a grass move. I'll probably go into Incineroar on the Ogre Pond slot. I'm going to, right away, attack that Sceptile slot with Ruination. That way, if they Shed Tail, and I did Terra, if they go for a Shed Tail and don't fake out Ting Lu, then I'll be able to break the sub no matter who they go to. Get your drops, get me a fake out turn, which could be nice. And my Terra's coming first. Okay. They're not terrestrializing. They could just be doing fake out Shed Tail. One would think their Sceptile was pretty safe turn one. Oh, good. And they fake out the wrong slot. That's great. Oh, it's just a Swords Dance. Well, you're at plus one attack now. No longer worried about Shed Tail. I'm also not too worried about you doing damage. Like, what can you do? Do I even want to use my Fake Out turn? I don't think so. I think I'm content to hit Rillaboom. Hmm. Am I? I could throw Flare Blitz right into it. If they go into Heatran, I could body press it. I could always do that next turn, though. I'm not too worried about Heatran coming in. Rillaboom spots. Interesting. Let's get rid of that attack drop, I guess. Into Urshifu. Which one? Water. That's great. I've got an Ogre Pond. Love it. And we get to see the Terra. It's rock? Oh, are you gonna rock slide? Hey, at least you're uh, at least you're weak to uh, something I got now. Who's dodging? I, I don't know who that is. Oh yes, good dodge. Good dodge, Incineroar. Oh, and a knockout. What? Is that a crit? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ensign!
I love you. I love you, Instant. Oh, wow. That was not supposed to KO. I was gonna pray for a burn, but that's even better. Oh, and you do get the Rock Slide flinch. That's fair. You know what? That is fair. Fair is fair. And Chen Pao is now hitting with you. Ain't no chance. There ain't no chance that you're gonna use a water move on Incineroar, right? Ain't no way. You know I've got Ogre Pond. I've shown you Ogre Pond. You're not gonna do it. Right? You're not gonna do it. Oh, well, that'll do it. Oh, you gotta go, okay, crit for crit. <laughs> wow. Alrighty, crit for crit. Fair is fair. Now I gotta take this Surging Strikes. At least I get some Grass Recovery. And because you burn Terra, I'm guaranteed to get a good Body Press into your Chen Pao, which is great. Fantastic. We also know now your Urshifu is not Scarf. Good information to have. And it's Ogre Pond's time to shine. I'm thinking you protect and bring in Rillaboom. Right. Protect your Chen Pao, bring in your Rilla. But I can't just leave Chen Pao unguarded. So I think I still just have to hit the damaging button. Oh, no protect on Ursh? Oh, just a double protect here. Okay. Just getting some more grass, I guess? If this is the last turn of grass, that kind of makes sense. But you, want, you would want to swap in the fake out and protect at the same time. So this leaves something vulnerable to damage right here, right now. And this is the last turn, so if you were, if you were to swap in, you'd be in trouble. So I'm perfectly content to body press your Chen Pao and Horn Leech your Ursha. Icicle Crash is scary. And to double up into Ogre Pond. Okay. Chen Pao is gone, though. Which I love. And you are now locked with your defense drop. I don't love that they have a fake out turn and Urshifu on the game. Because I cannot just protect away from that. This is a good match. This one's coming down to it, for real. All right, they need to delete an Amorous. They need to double into an Amorous here. And that is what they're gonna do. They're gonna fake out Surging Strikes right into an Amorous, and there's nothing I can do about it. Body Press onto Urshifu is my biggest damage output. And I play rough it just in case they don't do that, but they totally will. 100%. This is a fake out and a surging strikes. Right into an amorous. Yep, that's one. And here comes the other. And there was nothing I could do about this. But I have a berry. Will this berry save me? Oh, that'd be so great if this berry saves me. It'll be close. Like, sure, they have priority that can pick me off now, but... That's amazing. Oh, it's not a two-shot? Ting Lu! Ting Lu, I needed that to be a two-shot! What are you doing, Ting Lu? Without that two-pro, I can't, because now they can just... Grassy Glide, Surging Strikes, Surging Strikes again. I cannot knock them out. Ooh. 
I guess there's a chance that they don't Grassy Glide, or Grassy Glide doesn't get the KO for some reason? No, it definitely does. Ugh, I had a good matchup into Rillaboom. But I needed Urshifu gone, and now that it's not gone, this is looking like game over. Alright, 117 HP. Down two. Sorry, 217 HP. Down to 95. 122 damage? Ah, no crit there. Yeah, Surging Strikes is 122 damage. And I've got 110 HP. It's not happening. Good game. Good game opponent. Wow. That was a tough one. Let's see if you get the KO. Maybe you just get all the minimum rolls. And I could take this. And then somehow Rillaboom has no moves. But I did take it. Woodhammer should do it. Yeah, good game. Whew. Ting Lu, do more damage, please. I needed you. <laughs> Urshifu is too bulky. Good game, Cyber. And we're back. This Enamorous is so much fun to use. It, it, maybe it's not optimal to bring in every match, so I kind of forced it but it's so great. Uh, the Ting Lu, I don't know if I like this particular set, but I do think Ting Lu paired with Enamorous, I think there's something there. Anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace.